Right, this is a quick review on the tong light. This is a what they call a barbecue tong with lead light. All right, so this is the package and I'll show you the unit now. Here it is. Now I've already used this, so I'm reporting on my experience of this product. Right, to unhook it or to get started, you just need to flip that like that. And you can see it's spring loaded. So as soon as you let it go, it's got a spring there. Here's the main feature. It's got a torch. Just having a look at it so you can see there's the torch. You switch it on, uh, switch it off. It's got a rubberized button at the back and the torch can slot out. The torch itself is an alloy and uh, takes a double A battery. There you can see and it's an LED type torch. There's the back and there's the rubberized little button there. Unfortunately, this torch went faulty during this video. So there is the second time using the torch and it's now offline, unfortunately. Okay, so my torch has developed a bit of a fault as you can see, uh, just started doing this and uh, I'm not sure what's wrong. I put a new battery and there's no water in there. It's, uh, it's dry. And if you're wondering if this is plastic or glass, in my opinion, it is plastic. Let me just see. Yeah, that's plastic. And if you can see, there's the scratch. There we go. And there, I just scratched it. So that's plastic. And the torch does come with this alkaline battery. All right, just to give you an idea on the size, this is 45 centimeters. And it's pretty narrow. So the fattest part of this is just under five centimeters in terms of its mass it's under 50 grams weighing coming in at 31.4 grams right just reviewing the quality of this right now the handles this is just plastic and it's got a spring mechanism over there and there you can see the tongs the tong itself is quite long so you're looking at about 25 centimeters from the torch point and uh, it's got a pretty decent grip and what I particularly like about it is if you have a look can you see that once you've squeezed it it still gives you a little bit more travel to compress and why that's important is if I show you a tong like this can you see that once I squeeze this tong look I'll squeeze it at the maximum but look at that you see that is not a good tong so if I want to pick something up this is 775 grams you can see what's happening there uh, this is this is pretty useless and uh, just having a look at some more entry-level tongs but still useful this one over here is actually probably my favorite um, it's it's pretty decent as you can see uh, but the problem is the hinge you see what happens that hinge becomes loose so if you look at the mouth you can see look at that um, so then when you're closing it and opening it doesn't grab the meat properly look at that so the hinge eventually destroys itself if you look at them probably the most entry level here we go uh, this is very cheap only problem with this is you have to almost come from a top view or you have to come quite close to the food the meat and you your hand gets quite hot on the fire the length here is a bit short and also the hinge off also gives in after a while so coming back to the tong light as you can see there's no problem with that i mean look at this no issue at all i mean i can even I can even shake it up if I wanted to. So the gripping feature of the tong light is very good. Now, how good is this plastic? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna light it and just have a look and see if this plastic can handle open flame and for how long before it starts deforming. And you can see that I've got the flame on this plastic and this plastic is pretty resilient. I mean, now it's going on six seven eight nine ten okay there it's just started to bubble so you got about eight seconds before it starts to destroy the plastic keeping in mind this is almost like a heat sink here so it is absorbing some of that heat so if we take it maybe in a more sensitive position let's say here on the let's say over here one two three four five six seven yeah there just starting to to bubble a bit so there's about eight seconds all right overall so that's pretty good so you can get right on the uh, open flame and it won't destroy itself what i like about this tong is the grip this has got a great grip you can see it's got like an ergo design what i don't like about it is this often i'm brying or barbecuing and that's sitting there and you squeezing the tong but look see it's open here why because that is stopping me from closing the tong the mouth 
So that sometimes gets in the way and that happens. You see, you're busy, you're busy uh, cooking or barbecuing, brying, whatever you want to call it, and that gets in the way. So I don't like this uh, little flap here. If you put it there, it's not nice for your finger. I wish they could have come up with a better design for that. How well does the torch work? I can tell you I uh, cooked over 200 sausages in a built-in bry. Built-in brys tend to be dark and without this torch, I wouldn't have been able to do it. I would have been having to wear a head torch, something like this. But even when you wear a head torch, what happens with the built-in bry, the head torch still doesn't get right into the bry because the bry is often closed. So the idea of a torch on the tong is priceless. The only issue is if you don't have a good quality torch, it's a waste of time. That is my second critique of this product. The torch is not high quality and uh, mine is uh, it's gone faulty after the second use. Right, to sum up, the tongs are good quality. Only criticism I have is on the torch. It fits in there snugly, but as you can see, mine is doing a flashing story here. My only issue is the tong without the torch is no longer tong light. It's almost uh, just regular tong. So because my torch is faulty, it doesn't help. Look, I'm sure that many people don't have this problem. So overall, I would say this is an excellent idea and this is a quality product. However, in my case, I got some bad luck here. Thanks for watching. Cheers.